Hey, what is up guys? So there's a bunch of new cards that came out. We got a fusion monster, we got some new e-hero stuff that is going to support the deck, and a lot of other cards I want to talk about. But anyways, first off, let's go ahead and go over this card, Merkaba, the Edleon Beast, and we'll actually show you guys some of the replays of these new cards in action. There's new Dark Magician stuff. But uh, anyways, the first card, Merkaba the Edleon Beast. So anyways, level 9 machine fusion that requires Alistair the Edleon Summoner plus one light monster. Its effect reads, once per turn during either player's turn, when a monster effect or spell trap card is activated, you can send one card of the same type, monster spell trap from your hand to the graveyard to negate the activation and then banish the card. So that's really, really strong. So anyways, let me go ahead and show you guys a few replays of this in action. You guys can kind of see for yourself uh how good the deck is uh well you don't have to make a deck around the card but it can almost support itself on its own and you can play it in different decks too so anyways um you can play in a lot of different things you can make a deck like i said just around this card i mean it is a machine and it's pretty easy to get out especially because uh you guys will see that it's a little bit unfair with alistair the ed Leon summoner um, I feel like this Alistair, the Edleon Summoner, and there's a lot of different things that just make it really good. But you can see a real fast CDI ABC Edleon Beast over here. Now, uh, this is another card that is uh, just ah, it's so strong. It, real easy, real easy to bust out. But that Edleon Beast, man, that card is pretty dang strong. So that's that card in action. But we got some other stuff that I want to share with you guys. But uh, anyways, there is a lot more other cards I want to check out. So I'm going to swap back overlays so we can read the other cards. So there's a few other cards coming out in the game. Now, some of these we don't have the effects of, uh, but some of them are alternate artworks of certain cards that you guys might be familiar with. So there's Odd-Eyes Pendulum Dragon, uh, the Dark Rebellion, the Clearwing Synchro Dragon, Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, and then there's this other card called Toon Magician. We went over its effect, I think, a while ago, but it's a relatively quick effect. So it's anyways, it's a pendulum scale of 8 with a pendulum effect that says... All monsters you control gain a 100 attack and defense for each face up magician pendulum monster in your extra deck. Um, I'm wondering if we can just like throw in a bunch of stuff uh, somehow just to like put them face up because they do have to be face up. If we just face down, just max out things and all, uh, you know, just ridiculous amounts of attack. But, anyways, it's only 100. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, if you got, you know, 15 of them. <laughs> It's not going to be the end of the world. But anyways, it can't be special summoned from the extra deck. If you use this card as material for Synchro, Fusion, or Exceed, all other materials must be Magician Pendulum Monsters. You can only use the effect of Toon Magician once per turn. And then when this card is Pendulum Summoned, except from the hand, you can special summon one Magician Pendulum Monster from your deck in defense position, except for itself. And then uh, that monster's effect are negated also banish it when it leaves the field so that's kind of a downside next up we have speed rift speed drift so it's a quick play spell card it says if the only monster you control is a tuner special summon one level four lower speed root monster from your deck when the monster is special summon neither player can activate cards or effects in response so that that alone is a really really good card and there's also it says apparently the product contains what are described as powerful new and reprinted cards so i don't know if this means that they're eroding cards because this looks like the same galaxy eyes but i don't know if they're going to change this effect or like you know it's a completely different card there's also a special uh stock case i guess that that's also there as news uh we probably won't get these in the tcg for quite some time i, I wish we would a lot of this like japanese exclusive stuff it, it just happens to be like exclusive and we never get them but uh, nonetheless those are some of the other new cards but i also want to share off the new dark magician stuff in action so let me go ahead and share that with you guys so this is the new chaos scepter blast and uh, this card is a little bit overpowered if you guys ask me. I mean, I know the deck isn't so strong, but let's read this card real quick. And then, well, actually, no, let's show it in action. Let's not, not even pause. Let's go fast. All right, anyways, Chaos Scepter Blast. If you control a level 8 or higher spellcaster monster, you get to just banish a card in the field. But if this card in its owner's spell and trap is destroyed, you get to special a demock from your deck, ignoring its summoning condition. So, like, you can see over here... He went ahead and just got a free Demok. And remember, Demok still has an effect to re-add back a spell card. So he's able to add back Chaos Scepter Blast. Draws in another one. And then that, that that's game from there. <laughs> like, that is so unfair. Obviously, yeah, you just bang and then you win the game. Uh, the... The amount of, like, shenanigans that can go on with Chaos Scepter Blast. I think it's a little bit overpowered. Uh, I know it's an RNG mechanic where, like, if they hit it face down. And it's a quick play. I just think it's, it's that's insane. You just get to special summon a Dark Magician of Chaos from your deck. 
Uh, and then that card re-adds back any spell card. So, like, not only can you re-add back this card because it was just, you know, you have a target for Demok, but you can get back anything. So, I think that's really good. Uh, let me know, guys, what your thoughts are on that. But we got more stuff to share with you guys, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, check out some more cards. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, back at it uh, again with the new cards. We got new E-Hero support, so a lot of fans. Is this the card to make E-Heroes good? Let's find out. Not really, though. <laughs> All right, anyways, so we have the uh, Caligula, the Edleon Beast. So it's another one of those Edleon Beast monsters. So anyways, uh, it requires uh, Alice of the Edleon Summer and a Dark Monster. So while this card is in the Monster Zone, each player can only activate a monster effect once per turn. So that's really good um, that you can stop some stuff. But that stats are really mediocre, so you just summon and attack all over it. But uh, it does kind of prevent them from beating you that turn. And then, um, yeah. The, the whole uh, attack only with one monster, it's, it's medium. This is the effect that you really want, and it's a relatively powerful effect. But the new elemental hero card, guys, is it good? Let's find out. So it's level 7 light warrior type uh, monster, of course. It's an effect monster. 25 attack, 2,000 defense points. It says you can only use each effect of elemental hero, honestly, Neos, <laughs> once per turn. Uh, during either player's turn, you can discard this card, then target one hero monster you control, gains 2,500 attack until the end of this turn. Uh, so that's really strong. Um, you know, uh, Dank Law makes it a lot more viable because th that sometimes can be the problem as things get over it. But there's so many things nowadays that are just too strong for Dark Law. And then the second effect is during either player's turn, you get to discard one hero monster. This card gains attack equal to that monster's attack until the end of this turn. I don't think you're going to be bringing this card out unless there's some... Uh, you guys let me know, is there some support card that just lets you bring back this card? I know you can just call the Haunted it, but there's a lot of really decent hero support. And I don't remember them all on top of my head. But um, I know that there's like one that you can special like a hero from your hand when your opponent attacks. They randomly select a card. In your, it's, it's not that good. But if this is the only card in your hand, I guess that works for that. But... I don't know, 2,500 attack, it's a decent amount. You combo that with like a, you know, an Honest. <laughs> you can do some really crazy shenanigans. But uh, I'm wondering, is this going to make heroes more viable? Or is it more of just a hint that they're going to say, hey, we're going to release more hero support. I think that that's more so the announcement. I mean, we have this giant picture over here making it seem super hype. But I don't feel like heroes needed that attack. Like, we still are missing Stratos in the TCG. Maybe that this is what the TCG was waiting for. They're like, we'll bring back Stratos. And then we'll also let all the new hero support and get that deck even more hype. You know, that, that can make sense. But anyways, next up there's Harpy. Featherstorm, so it's a normal trap card that says if you control a Harpy monster, you can activate this card from your hand. If you control a Wind Wing Beast type monster, negate all of your opponent's activated monster effects until the end of this turn. If this card in the spell and trap card zone is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can add one Harpy's Feather Duster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Um, some of you guys, actually hold on, let me go over this card, because this card, it, it's a little bit of an older card. And some of you guys not, might not know about this card, Harpy's uh, Feather Duster. Uh, Feather Duster. It's one of the more powerful cards in the game. It's a really simple effect, though. Destroy all of your opponent's spell and trap cards on the field. Really good against Pendulum, really good against like anything, really. Except for, I guess, that Dark Magician deck, which, uh, I, of course, we just watched that replay of you know that card in action, which is a really strong card. So this could be a hint that that card, uh, Harpy's Feather Duster, could come back in the game. Otherwise, like, what's really the point of this? You know what I'm saying? Uh, next up, we have the Chaos Scepter Blast, which we already went over. We already showed you guys that card in action. Very, very powerful effect. Yeah, you just get a special summon a Dark Magician of Chaos from your deck. I know that you can also get Magician of Black Chaos. Um, for those of you guys, look, I guess we can go over this card real quick. Because uh, it's another one of those older cards. Um, uh, Black Chaos. Black Chaos. Uh, let me go ahead and actually, let's make it go bigger. So this is Dark. Uh, this is Magician of Black Chaos. 28. I don't know, like, I feel like this is just hinting us that we're going to get support for additional Black Chaos. Because I like how this card looks. I don't really like its face in this artwork, but, like, I just like that card's artwork in general. Not, again, like, the TCG, like, that, not that specific one. But, nonetheless, it could be just, again, support, or hinting us for that support in the future. So it's not like the BLS Ritual stuff is getting more support. It'd be kind of cool to see some Ritual decks, see a little bit more play. But uh, next up, we have Power Wall. So it's a normal trap card that says, during damage calculation, when you would take battle damage from your opponent's attacking monster, so one card from the top of your deck to the graveyard for each 500 damage you would take so that you take the, the damage you take becomes zero. So that's really interesting that um, 
I mean, if your opponent hits you for like just like a one-hit OTK, you can start sending crazy amounts of cards, uh, which I think is interesting. Like the, the game's just going faster and faster. Um, but there's also like the announcement of like a reprint of some certain cards, and it's not really too relevant. Uh, Harvest Feather Duster does need a reprint, though, <laughs> especially if it's going to be coming back in the game. That'd be a great reprint. But uh, anyways, I also have a few more uh, in action replays, so let's go ahead and check those out real quick. But uh, I also wanted to share off. Uh, this one over here, uh, this is just a simple uh, deck that can revolve itself around, of course, the new uh, fusion monster that we just showed off. Really simple stuff. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just check it out. It works well in EBCs, but like I mentioned, you can play it in a lot of different decks. So you can see over here, he goes ahead and makes the Merkaba, the Edleon Beast over here. He gets it banished, but Power Mon is there to be activated, and then the ABC on top of that. And he's still on a bottom list. Like, you're able to OTK through, like, just another, like, card. You know, that's just how Yu-Gi-Oh! is going to be these days, guys. It's going to get really, really fast. But yeah, that's uh, a deck that you can kind of build if you want to. You know, Power Mon is still a pretty decent card, uh, just because it gets rid of the, the ABC. So maybe we'll see some people try this out. I like seeing variants of uh, different things just to see that variety but anyways that's it for the vid guys if you enjoyed the vid make sure you guys give that like button a titty slap i'm signing out